Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you all well, had a great weekend. We are back, it's Monday, so that means one thing again. We are going to be playing a brand new team going into this week on the channel. As you can see, it's on the screen in front of you. As always, the team is down in the description below. There will be a Roll Paste and a Poker Paste, so you can check it out in your own time. Try it out if you'd like to, and as always, if you do try it out, let me know how you get on with the team because I think it's going to be a lot of fun, especially in a best of one situation. Now, Kyogre Xerneas is a team call that had a lot of success earlier in the season. and We've not really seen too much play from it going forward in the Ultra Series. So, one reason was I haven't played Kyogre so far on the channel this year. So, there's one reason. And also, I do feel like this combination can work and it's still got a lot of utility in this format. So... We're playing that combination today. We've got the Kyogre, the Tornadus. The Tornadus is going to be there. It's quite a bulky one as well because I was a bit drawn. I wanted the Focus Sash on it, but then Focus Sash seemed a bit more fitting on the target of Maru here. So we've went for a Baryon Tornadus. Very bulky. It's got Tailwind, Roll Play, which is the nice thing. Got Taunt and then Hurricane. Then we've got the target of Maru support there with Fake Out, U Turn. We've got Endeavor because you've got the Sash there, which is going to be nice to really chunk things down. It's Jolly Nature as well, so it should outspeed the majority of. Of the format that we're going up against you know with that nice base 96 speed that it does carry there and then u-turn so we've got a fast pivot out as well to also support Kyogre help us with the weather control there Xerneas is pretty obvious you know what it does we need to get the geomancy up support it well enough and I feel like within this team we've got enough to prevent and stop trick room getting set up which is kind of like our biggest threat at the moment just looking at it on face value we've got the Kangaskhan as a mega because we do need a mega there I originally had Incineroar and then looked at the team and thought there's no there's no mega here where we can fit a mega so we've got Kangaskhan in there we've got Faker we've got Bite we saw that played over the weekend in Berlin it is picking up a lot of popularity just because of the flinch chance that you've got there with it so you can fake out and then bite something hopefully by the two hits you you also pick up the flinch and then Serena again it does support Tornadus especially without Protect on there and the other members of the team so you've got the Queenly Majesty just supporting and gives us a nice grass type as well to the team we've put the Z move on it because it gives us a way to nuke things like Kyogre things like Tapu Fini that are so predominant in the format right now so we're going to kick off with this team this week as I say it's down in the description if you want to try it out look at it and uh, it will be a lot of fun and we'll probably change it up as we go through so we've done the brief introduction without further ado let's crack some music on and let's get straight into today's episode as always guys if you do enjoy this sort of content please remember to leave a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and leave your comments because I love hearing from you all. So since our last episode, um, we've been playing around on stream and things like that with various teams. So our rating isn't as high, but I'm sure we can climb quite high up to it. Let's kick off with lead title defense today to get into this one. And of course, it was Berlin International, the European International Championships over the weekend. I'm actually recording this episode before the final, so I don't know what the outcome of that was. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyone attending, I hope you had an amazing time. And uh, do let me know if you were in attendance or you were watching the streams, what you thought of the event and the teams that came out on top. There's been some incredible games this weekend. And Mega Gengar has uh, been doing a lot of work, hasn't it? So that's something to keep in mind going forward, I think, if you're playing this format, going into tournaments yourself making sure that you've got like a get, watching these tournaments gives you a better idea of what to expect going into them and it, it helps you kind of I don't know, like just accumulate your ideas to know what you have to prepare for. Um, so it's nice with the format kind of betting in at this point, being able to have a good idea of what you're going to be facing going into these events. And uh, obviously players will be adapting their teams and things like that as we go forward. So it's not just straightforward yourself, but we do have a better idea going into these sort of things than we did beforehand. But we got a first opponent, so we can hop straight over into team preview. And our first opponent today is playing ooh, Dialga, Feramosa, Kyogre, Tapakoko, Raichu, which is the Alolan form, and Tornadus. So, what are the chances? We play Tornadus, and we bump into a Tornadus. I don't think I faced one Tornadus yet this season, but regardless of that, it's fine. Right, what are we looking at here? We've got Tailwind on my opponent's team, Trick Room with the Dialga. We've got that really fast auto mod with the uh, the Tapu Koko and the Alolan Raichu. There's, that's something we have to be a little bit careful of. Now, Togunamaru can be pretty good here, you know. Um, it faces down against the, the Raichu and the Tapu Koko pretty nicely here. Um, do we go with... Ooh, I'm kind of tempted to go with Xerneas, honestly. 
as a lead um, just to try and get the geomancy up we've got to be a bit careful around the trick room of course um, but then again we could get it up bring Serena in case my opponent brings that tornadoes and then you know we're not going to have much speed control but I think could we go could we sneak Kyogre in the back or is that not the best idea and maybe we go Kang and leave Kyogre behind here it's just hmm I'm going to go Kyogre I'm going to go Kyogre I feel Olga could do a job here. So we'll go into it. My camera is gone. There we go. Back like magic. So, hmm. This is a tricky one because, like, I think the Kangaskhan could have been just as good over the Kyogre. But I just want, I just like bringing Kyogre. Obviously, you want to bring both restricted to every game you can. <clears throat> The, the additional fake out might be useful. So we're going to see Raichu and we are going to see Tornadoes come out for my opponent. Now I feel like we've got a pretty good chance here just to switch Toga tomorrow out and get Serena in. And we'll be able to block all of the, the prankster stuff, all of the fake out shenanigans and get a Geomancy off, which should put us in a really nice position. <clears throat> So let's see if we can catch my opponent out, because it's, it's kind of obvious that we might try this, and they might not fall for it, but we do get the, the fake out block. Ooh, roleplay, but it's blocked. <laughs> so we do get the Geomancy up, so this is a nice little start for us, and this is one of the beauties about Serena, and this is why I keep harping on about it so much in this format, why I think it's like legitimately so good, and people are probably getting tired of me, because we played Serena on the, the Rayquaza team, but I just... I just think it's great. I really do. We will probably change the team up as we go through this week. So Serena won't be on it for the whole time. But I think just as a utility in this team, it really kind of jumped out at me. Now we've got uh, Geomancy boost up, which is very nice. So what I'm going to do is just switch Serena straight out, get Togo tomorrow in, and just go for a, a fat, dazzling gleam because we are nicely boosted up now. We are running a bit of a different Xenius in this team as well than, we, than, than the ones we've been running previously. In other weeks so it's a little bit different it's not as fast as some of the other variants but it is it is just as bulky so we see the tailwind here from the tornadoes it's kind of locked to doing much else get the dozen gleam off maybe the raichu is sashed yep yeah, there's the sash but if it goes for a volt switch then we'll pull it in with uh there you go see it is going for an electro web we do get the lightning rod but we can't get around it completely it does lower our Zonius's, um speed by one stage so uh, the tailwind kind of counteracting there. So, right, what do we do? Um, hmm, I kind of worry more about uh, the Raichu having Nuzzle. So I want to fake out into that slot, and I think we'll just go for another Dazzling Gleam here. Tornado's protecting. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so we'll get rid of this Raichu. That's nice. Get rid of that. We've got to worry as well because the Tailwind is up. So our opponents will be potentially outspeeding us depending on what comes in. Obviously, the Kyogre coming in now could be a little bit tricky. But with the Geomancy boost at this point, it should be all right. And there's the Kyogre. Okie dokie. Hmm. And we'll probably see it double up into... Into Xerneas here, but I mean, one of the things we can do is just go for a nuzzle into the Tornadus. Um, do we want to get rid of the Tornadus? Like, we don't want to take a Hurricane and uh, um, Hydro Vortex. Uh, bleh, Hydro Vortex? What am I talking about? Uh, a Water Spout. But we could nuzzle the Kyogre as well. Uh, it would make our lives a lot easier going into the, the latter turns. And I think I'm kind of tempted to just do that. Um, it's just if we, huh. yeah, I'll do it because then we we've got the option to endeavor potentially if we want the next turn, and just getting the nuzzle onto the Kyogre is pretty nice. Uh, obviously, we need to click in. I need to wake up. I thought I'd already clicked in to protect on on Xerneas here, but we need to try and stall this tailwind out, of course. Okay, so hurricane, yeah, and we'll get the nuzzle. Ooh. Kyogre actually <clears throat> outspeeds our Togemaru. Of course it does, because they've got the tailwind up. We could have went for the Endeavor there. 
But never mind, it's fine. We get the nuzzle into the Kyogre, which is always going to be nice. It's not going to do huge damage, but any chip is nice. And uh, it's not really threatening us going into this next turn. Um, and we could potentially just go Endeavor into the Ogre and Dazzling Gleam. Because we'll take the Kyogre down to 1 HP. I'd imagine the Tornadoes probably wants the Hurricane into the Xerneas here. Um, and if we do get that into the Kyogre, then that's, that's brilliant because we'll be able to pick up the knockout with a dazzle and then my opponent's just got one Pokemon then in the back which should be should be fine I wonder if it's a Dialga though that would be my question is it the Dialga or not hmm it's a bit like that situation where I'm like hmm I want to bring both restricted Dialga's probably really good against this sort of call but who knows we will get the dazzling gleam uh, we go before our Togedemaru, which we need to really keep in mind, you know. Um, but he did get the Endeavor off, regardless. Going to take it down to 1 HP. That's a <laughs> it will be enough to get the Togedemaru, but I think it probably did about 1. Ooh, crit as well. Crit. 1 HP. What about big damage? There's the Tailwind pairing out. So Zonius in a really nice position now. Uh, we'll bring Serena in. Because we then, if it is the Pheromor, so we've still got... Access, yeah, there's the we, we can just faint dazzling game and it should be should have enough to kind of clean this match up now For Xerneas with even plus one will outspeed the Feramosa um, so we can just go faint um, We know it's not sashed because the Raichu is sashed But just in case it protects then we can get around it that way So we should be able to pick up our first victory here, and that's the other thing with Serena as well It's you know like here we can just get around any I mean we're not on any real trouble here but I mean if there was a similar situation where your opponent had the potential to protect and stall out a turn and maybe get a bit of an advantage there the faint just denies that and that's one of the other things I really love about Serena it kind of blocks that on your end but you're allowed to do it as long as there's no um, psychic train up of course which would block it so Right, we do pick up the win. Very good game to my opponent, and uh, we'll move on to our next one. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to find the next opponent. But um, I had like one game with this team before I jumped into the episode. I thought, you know, it's probably a good idea just to get a little feel for the team. Uh, and I wish I had recorded that episode. It was great. We faced a um, Crawback Groudon build, and uh, we totally got the uh, oh, it was Mega Gengar as well, which was really nice. But we got the whole role play thing uh, down, and it was. Um, it did go very well, so I, I feel pretty nice about coming into this one today with this team. So, um, sitting on a rating of... There we go. There's the rating screen. I always forget to kind of flip it back over to this one, so I should be more mindful. Um, and David, for you, I will not throw out Ultra Necrozma version 2. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll go with Elite 4 for our second one today. I do spam that one quite a lot. <laughs> but we've got our next opponent, so we'll jump straight into Team Preview. Okay, this is an interesting build. We've got a Groudon, Xerneas, Salamence, Tapu Lele, Smeagol, and Clefairy. So we've got all the support options here, haven't we? Got the Clefairy, it's going to have that friend guard, going to have follow me, all sorts of shenanigans here, as well as that Smeagol with access to follow me. So lots of redirection support here, fake out support from the Smeagol. Going to have Tapu Lele there, which will bring its terrain, which will kind of hinder our ability to utilize our Prankster on a Tornadus. Um, and uh, our fake out support as well is kind of gone so Salamence becomes a bit more of an issue um whether or not i want to utilize togedemaru here uh, more than anything just to nuzzle things for a bit of redirection might be a way to go we need to be very careful around this smeagol because one of the things it can do is potentially uh, put things to sleep which we don't really want to have to contend with now one of the things i could do is lead kangaskhan and Xerneas. I'm just wary about the Tapu Lele leading because with the Psychic Terrain up and if it is scarfed like I kind of expect it to be, it can put a big dent in Xerneas to begin with. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Actually, yeah, we'll bring Kang. We'll bring Zern. We'll bring Togodomaru and Kyoga. It just doesn't leave us many. Actually, I'm going to bring Tornadus instead of the Togodomaru and we'll jump. Go on that screen. 
We don't want that screen. We want this screen. I need to be quicker on the trigger finger today. Um, I think the Tornadus gives us a bit more alleviation against the Groudon, whereas Togedemaru, uh, we don't have many good Groudon switches in. Um, and our opponent is definitely going to have Groudon out at some point, and we need a way to be able to switch in and kind of adjust our board position a little bit. And the Tailwind's obviously very nice as well. Okay, so we're seeing Tapu Lele and we're seeing Xerneas. Um, they want to be able to get around our fake out to allow the Xerneas to set up. Now one of the things we could potentially do here is go for a Mega Evolve Bite into the Xerneas and hope to pick up a flinch that way and stop at Geomancy. And because if we can do that and we can Geomancy ourselves, then that does put us in a good position. So I'm going to just go for it and I'm going to feel confident that Kangaskhan Mama Kang can do all the work it needs to and flinch this Xerneas because we're max speed so we will outspeed it after we mega evolve and this is really like quite a nice tech if you can get it guaranteed to get it most turns when you do it it really does put you in a good place so we're just going to see a Dazzling Gleam come out from the Lele I'm surprised we don't see a Psy Shock there we just see the bite from the Kang there's two bites do we get it? we get it! There we go, boys. We're back in action. <laughs> so it's so broken. It's so broken. <laughs> right, we get the Geomancy up. We're in a pretty nice position right now. I know the Lele is locked into Dazzling Gleam. We know it's scarfed. Uh, it went before everything, so it has to be. Uh, we're not in really too much danger here of going down. And I think what we could potentially do is just go for... I mean, what's my opponent going to switch in here? Smeagol, maybe. Salamence, no. Groudon, potentially. Um, I don't know. I feel like I could just return into... Do we return into Zern or do we just Moonblast it? Um, I feel like I probably just want to return into the Lele. And we are modest, so we should be able to pick up the Xerneas with a Moonblast from this range. Unless it's like super bulky. Um, but I think we should be pretty safe. We're not going to see any switches out here. They should take the Xerneas down. We remove that threat, which is nice. Could have protected there. There's a Dazzling Gleam. Kang hanging in there. And there's a return. This should take the Lele down. And it's a little bit... Oh, well. Critical hit. Sorry. Sorry, opponent. But I think we probably get it anyway. Um, it'll be interesting to see what my opponent brings in now. Likely to be growled on, you've got to imagine. But we still have access to bite. Big bad bitey Kangaskhan. Can we get a bite flinch on the, <laughs> the growled on to finish it off today? That would be that would be pretty nice. It is a Salamence. Okay, so that's fine. Xerneas can deal with that, and it is a growled on. Like one of the things we could potentially do here is just go dazzling gleam bite into the growled on, um, and hope that we pick up the knockout onto it. Um, I kind of probably would like to protect Xerneas here, but because I expect the Salamence to protect, but I don't want to get punished and leave that Salamence alone and allow it to get the um, the Tailwind up. Now Xerneas should be able to take a Precipice Blaze from this range, should. But even if not, like what have we got in the back? We've got Tornadus Kyogre. We're in a fine position. We're like fine. We're super fine, actually. So it, it'll be, it'll be all all right. Um, do I dazzle or do I just moonblast? Oh, uh, I just dazzle. Dazzle. Get some damage off into the Groudon as well. The Salamence is likely protect. Like that's what that. Yeah, in my opponent just forfeits. So. Got another win, very good, and shown kind of the dominance of uh, Kangaskhan with that bite as well today, which is really nice. We had a, like a little feature of the Serena as well, which is super nice. So, team kicking off really well. Uh, really happy with how how it's went today. So hopefully that continues on as the week goes on. It is a little bit different from builds that you've probably seen before, but uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun playing this team through this week. And like I say, I'm super open. I know with the, the extra team that we played last week, we didn't really make any changes because it had such a nice run and we wanted to see how far we could push it on. I do feel a bit similar with this team, but I'm way more open to, to 
changing it and tweaking it as we go but it feels like it's got a lot of like items text and things like that to help it cover each other to make sure that it can function well especially like i say in a best of one situation where we can really catch our opponents out and the bite on the kangas con is just crazy isn't it but guys we're going to end it there i hope you've enjoyed today's episode uh, do leave a comment down below let me know what you think of today's episode and uh, i will look forward to going through them and replying to you as soon as possible but thank you so much for tuning in hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you all for the next one so until then take care and bye bye